Hi guys, Chris and Gigi here with Super Savvy Travelers and I had a couple things float across my little mindscape today and I wanted to give you a heads up on them. First of all, one of the most important things is know that when you're buying a property in Italy, you, it's not like America, it's not like California where fixtures are anything attached to the property. So things like uh, light fixtures for one, um, uh, cabinets, your kitchen, and in fact I even had a stove come up where the owner of the property emptied it out completely and, and took the stove off the wall, the heat stove. And I, I, I was just like, live it, how can he do that? Well, apparently that can be done. So just know that so you're prepared to make sure that if you're agreeing to something to be in the house, put it in the compromesso, which is the initial offer to buy and their offer to sell, and in the act, make sure they're in both places so that it is documented everywhere that that's what you're buying. You're buying a kitchen, make sure you specify the kitchen. You're buying the light fixtures, make sure you specify them. It's good to even have pictures if you can. So that's something. Uh, the second thing is when, when you sign the act or even if you have a power of attorney signed for you, it is so, so, so important that you really look at the floor plans. The notario is gonna give you the floor plans of the house that you're buying and you have to make sure they are correct. Now, what I would do is before you go to the act, ask your agent for the floor plans for the property. And study them carefully, make sure they look like what the, what the property is being sold to you as, and then take them with you to the notario and make sure that the floor plans that you are presented with at the notario, and then the notario, the notario's act is the thing that actually sells you the property. Okay. Now, if you're interested in how the whole process works, you need to take our course. It's all covered in our course, but this is just another thing that we come across with our guys that I wanna make sure you really understand. So make sure the floor plans that you got from your agent are correct. Walk the property, look at everything. Then take them with you to the notario because the notario is gonna give you the floor plans and have you look at them. And he's going to ask you, is that correct? And if you say yes, and you're signing the act, you are agreeing that that's correct. Now, I'm only bringing this up because I know some people have thought they bought the garden. They thought they bought the magazine. They thought they bought the terrace. And they didn't. Okay. And a lot of times the interpreters are not going to pick these things up. And a lot of times the floor plan review is kind of sort of a toss up. Well, it's not a toss off. You have to look at those. You have to make sure they're correct and you have to make sure they match with what you're told you're buying. So definitely take my course. I'm telling you, you can avoid a lot of heartache if you take that course and study it. It's simple. It's easy. It's a lot of fun. And you're really going to go in armed to the teeth with good knowledge. So see you soon.